AMC 10A 2020 problem 18. Let A, B, C, D be an ordered quadruple of not necessarily distinct integers. Each one of them is in the set of 0, 1, 2, 3. And how many such quadruples is it true that AD minus BC is odd? For example, 0, 3, 1, 1 is one such quadruple. So when reading these, this type, let's first try to model out what we need to do. So we're trying to find an ordered quadruple such that the subtraction of A times D minus B B times C is odd. So let's consider the cases. What num what type of number minus what type of number can give me an odd number? So this related field is called partiality, and by doing this, it's just some way that we can test for it. Well, let's there are only four possibilities: even times an even, even times an odd, odd times an odd, and odd times even. But odd times odd times an even, even times odd will all give out the same answer. It's just rearrange the order of it. So in reality, there are actually just three cases we need to consider. Even times even, odd times odd, even times odd. So even times even, let's give some examples. 2 times 2 will give 4. 6 times 12 will give 72. So we can kind of see that an even number times an even number will result in an even number. An odd number, for example, 3 times 3 will give 9. And 7 times 9 will give 63. So we can deduce that odd times odd will give odd. And what about even times odd? Well, 2 times 3 will give 6, 4 times 7 will give 28. So even times odd will give out an even number. So if you have not memorized this, then you can always do this if you, in case you forgot to help yourself deduce the order and the case work. So now that we're done with this, we can now determine how many possible even multiples there are. So AD minus BC, well, since we can, we can subtract both of them from either way, we don't really care if it's negative. Because we see here that this can be negative, it can be positive. So we don't really care about that. So we can say that this there's a simil there's a similarity between A D and B C. We just need to find the possibilities for A D being even, B C being odd, multiply this by two to find out the total number of possibilities possibilities that we have. Because the value for A D can be B C. Because three minus five will give negative two, five minus three will give two. In either outcome, the solution will always be an even number. So we don't care how AD and BC is arranged. We just need to find one case for AD and multiply by 2 because BC can take on the same values as AD. So from this conclusion, let's begin. AD can be even. So how many even multiples are there within the set 0, 1, 2, 3? Well, an even number multiply even number. How many even numbers are there for the first digit? Well, in this case, we can consider 0 to be even because 0 is a even digit that can be considered. For example, 0 minus 2 will result in an even digit. So we must consider 0 within our possibilities. So E can be 0 or 2. So the first even digit for the product of two even numbers has two possibilities, being 0 and 2. But what about the second even digit? The second even digit, well, there's only two even digits within the set, 0 and 2. So the second even digit also has two possibilities. So the multiplication of them will result in four possibilities in total for the two numbers to be even. Now let's consider the case for being odd. And I'll write it right here. Odd times an odd number. And how many odd numbers are there? Well, for an odd number of cases, oh, and by the way, we're now considering BC because we'll get back to AD, but first let's consider a odd times odd to satisfy BC. So odd times odd, how many odd numbers are there? Well, the first case has 1 and 3. And the second case also has 1 and 3. So the possibility for 2 to be odd is still 4 possibilities. Now let's test for even times an odd. We said that even times an odd will give us an even quantity. So even times odd, how many even digits are there? Well, there's only 2, which is 0 and 2. And how many odd digits are there? Well, do we, and also, do we need to consider only odd numbers? Because an even number times any number will result in an even number. Because an even number has a factor of 2 in it. So we can actually say, instead of this generalized form, that it can times it by 0, 1, 2, 3 to get all the possibilities for an even number, which is 2 possibility times 4, which is 8 possibilities. So 8 possibilities plus the 4 possibilities for an even number will give us 12 possibilities in total, with 4 possibilities to be odd. Therefore, if we sub multiply 12 and 4 and multiply this quantity by 2, 
we will get the total number of quadruples. Because remember, again, AD can take on the values of BC, BC can take on the values of AD, because we don't care if it's positive or negative. So multiplying this out, we get 2 times 48, which is 96, given our solution to be answer choice C.